Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard Land, a second episode in our new run here. I've actually been selling things. You can see my inventory is much more empty now. We have 5,630 gold, so I think we could actually buy a gun. Um, I actually just stepped into here. I was going to say, and is this guy going to sell me a gun? But I guess I don't have the option. I literally just walked in. <laughs> so these guys will talk, but not necessarily trade with me. What did you say to me? I couldn't hear what he said. Anyway, this place looks cool. There's a chest over here, though. Let's check this out. Unlock with a silver key. Ooh, because we have... I think we had, like, three silver keys. Okay, that got us some money. And... Oh, okay, we must have had one silver key and three smalls. I know we had one of a kind and then three of another. Um, can we take this potion-looking thing? No? Okay. How about you? Large bottle of poison. Um, I already have one, but... Why not? I don't need the cheese, the food, or anything. Um, so I'll just roll through here briefly. But anyway, the idea today is to basically hunt down a guy that can sell us a gun. Now we can go back to the beginning. It's not too far away. Um, because I, I think that's where that merchant was that was selling guns. Wait, was he actually selling a gun? Or was he just carrying a gun? I'm not sure. What is this? What the heck? Are these guys dead? What the? Here, you go over here. Can we do anything with these guys? This is creepy. This is just not... This is not right. This is not right. <laughs> Monks in the Attic. It sounds like a band name. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We'll float down with you here. <laughs> Let's get out of this place. Okay, that place was a little disturbing. Let's actually bring the map up here, pan this thing down. So, I kind of want to go out on the main street and back the way we came. I think that's going to be this direction. We could probably shortcut through here. What are you guys guarding? Nothing. Can't go in that door there. Sobbing Bard. I'm sad. I'm penniless and they kicked me out of the tavern band. I'm getting too old to play the loot like I used to. Would you like to buy the loot so I can at least afford to pay my rent? Oh, I would. I really would, but I'm trying to save my money. I need a gun. <laughs> you understand, right? Guns are important. Let's cruise over here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna cruise out. See if we can get back to town. I think that merchant was there. It's not you, right? We could talk to you, but you're not not—you're not what we're looking for. Let's bring the map up. I want to make sure, yes, that we are going in the right direction. The purple guys here are merchants. Um, I don't think this says what kind. Yeah, they just have hats on. So we begin the journey. We're just going to cruise back and see if we run across them. I really don't remember, but I feel like it was something like right away, right? Like right when I started, which makes me think it's like just outside that starter town. Oh, no. I was like, what's chasing me? You too? This is not safe at night. <laughs> Let's get up here and see if they're still following. Probably end up aggroing those guys there too. And something ahead. Oh man, they got arrows. We're going to keep going, but I'm going to remember where that is because I'm going to take some goblins out next time. Okay, this is familiar. We definitely know this scene. Um, let's run through here real quick. Hey guys. <laughs> I thought if there was loot on the ground that we might get it if there was money. Um, so this is the town up here. We're going to step through it and I think walk through to the other side and see if he's out there. But I, I want to double check down here. There's the chest. It did a little glow thing, but that's it. So I thought maybe this would like respawn, but I guess not. Um, as such, we're going to continue on our way. Now this guy had a quest here for us um, about harvesting something so maybe I should look into that but we need a gun and it wasn't that guy right that merchant didn't have the gun should be this guy out here okay you please tell me it's you what you got continue uh, oh blunderbuss 5000 yes you can protect yourself with some powerful firearms would you like to buy a blunderbuss yeah I would you're not going to regret that purchase. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's check this thing out. Uh, we could drag this to the number, drag it to the number four. And I ended up screwing some things up there, but that's okay. I'll put the sword back there. Okay, number four slot. There we go. Okay, left click brings it out. 
Now we just need some poor sap to test this out on. <laughs> I guess I could U-turn it and go back to the goblins. Um, maybe that's what we'll do because they had bows and arrows and that just wasn't fair. We're going to go take some of them out, hopefully. Okay, uh, we do have to run through these guys. So part of me is thinking I should just try it out on these guys, but we have 10 bullets. Um, I don't see anything about ammo. So it kind of makes me a little bit nervous um, because I don't, I would imagine 10 shots isn't going to kill these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and blaze past these guys. Hey boys. Because <laughs> we really want to get back to where we were anyway. So we're going to go try it out on the goblins that are down here. Just up here. Let's see. I don't know if I get to aim or not. Why are you red named to me? <laughs> Okay, so there's no crosshairs, um, which means I probably want to make sure I'm close to these guys, so I'm not wasting this. Whoa, that thing is way off from where I thought it was going to be. Whoa. <laughs> this is going to be much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Where are you going to? Hmm? Are you trying to find a way out to me? I think you might be. Oh, nice! <laughs> it's like a grenade launcher. It's crazy. All right, where's that other guy? What are we at? Seven left? Oh, that was close to me. I probably don't want to get too close to me. No. It definitely... Okay, so it definitely veers around a bit. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We only have three more. I kind of don't want to waste it. Huh. One chop on that guy. Wow, the accuracy on that? I mean, there's no accuracy on that. It's very dangerous. Um, I thought I saw a marker here. These arrows are here. I guess we can't pick those up. Uh, do we see any more gabos? Any more? I thought there were a few. Let's actually go down this road because maybe they're just down this way. What is that? Hey, man. You see the goblins? Are Whoa. You don't look like a peaceful guy. <laughs> I think we better test the blunderbuss on ya. Oh, dang! I feel bad. He was like, are you mad? Look at him, he's running away. I actually feel kind of bad now, but your name is Red. It makes me think you're, like, going to attack me. Alright, we're gonna leave them alone. <laughs> that was just, that was just cruel. Okay, I went down the road a little bit, thinking, oh, there's a knight there, let me go talk to him. Nope, it's an undead knight. Now, here's what I'm kind of wondering. Is it that you got to aim for a while before it will go straight? I'm not sure. Boom! To the dome! Wow, I really do not regret the purchase of this weapon. <laughs> that was amazing. And a silver key? So, yeah, I'm kind of wondering... Ooh, and a chest. I'm kind of wondering if that's it. Maybe I was firing too soon. Because when I've held it down for a while... I don't have a large key. Dang. When I held it down for a while, it does seem to shoot straight. So... I'm going to keep that in mind. Let's see what else is down here. We've got a large chest there, but no key. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can hit in the middle of them. Oh, oh, look at it. Just massacred. The Wait, did they respawn? <laughs> oh, no, where's your shield weem? Run. Let's get that shield out. Okay, where do these guys go? We'll go ahead and try to take some gobos out. We've got no ammo. I'm not sure how to refill it. Splat. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Boss, sweet. We got a goblin captain helmet. Okay, Hector would be proud. I came down here and uh, made sure to use my shield. I let them kind of hit me and then I swung with the ax, which would hit multiple of them at a time worked out very well and I dropped them but let's check this out because ooh, look at that I got a crossbow let's say I just picked up a crossbow damage on this damage says 50 on this but look at the crossbow 141 that's kind of cool let's try that can we just equip this in a different slot no so you have you have kind of one gun slot it seems one ranged weapon slot that's fine we're gonna try that curious how the ammo works 36 ammo for this now, one of the things I thought was maybe I just need to hit reload. Um, so we can hold right click to aim. We can fire. I'm going to keep doing that. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna like left click. Now that one seems pretty straightforward. Let's hit R. R does not reload, we'll hit four. Four doesn't reload either. So I don't know what it takes to reload that or the blunderbuss, but I'll definitely take this. Whoa, wait, missed him. Ooh, this one we can like rapid fire too. Granted, <laughs> we'll burn through ammo. He's just gonna take that to the dome. Am I doing good damage to you? Ooh, I was. Let's take these guys out from range. Sniping, 360 no scope. <laughs> Ron Weem, I should have used a heal. Where are you at? Ugh. Oh, did I hit somebody? That was sweet. Nice. Get the assassin going on here. Oh, there's quite a few of these guys. Oh no. <laughs> We've done a loop. Let's get out of here. Alrighty, I started making my way back and ran across this ghoul. I went up and smacked him and then realized, I remembered, that uh, previously, Ants in Pants Ninja asked, Are the ghouls afraid of fire? They seem to run from your torch. Now, I walked up and hit him, and I don't think he ran from me. So he's chasing me. Let's switch to my torch. Oh, he's... Oh, no. Don't get hit again. I'll die. <laughs> um, does that answer the question? I don't think he's too afraid of my torch. He actually just ran after me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that uh, it's uh, an indication that he's scared. So we have to eat some fish. Uh, is this, there might be a better way to do this. I'm just like not n knowing what it is. I right click and then I have to come out here and right click to eat. Okay, so we should be able to walk up and finish him. Um, let's get that shield out. Swing. Uh, shield up. Can we block? Let's see what we do here. Oh, what? That was 468 damage, guys. He just obliterated me. I was holding my shield up and everything. He did all of that with one hit. Brutal. Oh, no. Now he's attacking that guy. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, he just took care of him. Okay, so we try it again. Really cool thing about this situation. I just thought, oh, man, I got to go all the way back to the last time I went in a building. But uh, just as I got here, I had an FPS issue, so... Um, I actually saved and reloaded the game, so yeah, that actually didn't count, which is amazing. I was able to restart right here. I don't have a ranged weapon. Obviously the shield uh, didn't seem that effective, <laughs> so I would like to take him out, but at the same time, um, that's a bit brutal. Oh, get away. Like maybe I can just like run and gun him. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, carcass. That's a bummer. I was hoping to get a, uh, hoping to get some kind of like head off of his brains or something. There is another one back here. All right. Can we run and gun this like last time? Sprinty swing. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's a champ. No, don't get hit by him. <laughs> I kind of want to take him out now, though. I think we did pretty good there. Don't hit me. <laughs> gotta kind of swing as you run towards him that's what I'm looking for those ghoul brains go rolling by a round key we definitely want that um, I don't see anything else all these guys chilling here we could clear through those but we want to keep the brains we definitely want to keep the brains because as plasmatic silver said previously if you put on the ghoul helmet and then go see a rotten merchant maybe you can trade them so yeah i do want to try that now that's actually the other way it's all the way back through town um, the main town through the other side although that's really not that far it's basically out here he was right out in this area um, so I think I actually might make my way there so that we can answer that question for you. And I'm also just curious myself. Um, plus, we're kind of out at the edge of the map, this side of the coastal area. And while we can go north, I, and I do want to check this out, really we have a lot to explore. So why not go out there and explore? Okay, I detoured around some wolves back there. That wasn't going to end well. Oh no! This is like one of the ghoul merchants. Man! Really? You had to kill him? I was coming out here to experiment <laughs> I think he was like right out here somewhere oh man stuff has gone down I know there was another merchant out over here but I think he was totally fine he had like fireworks right he was somewhere out here I could be remembering wrong but oh man they killed him why'd they have to kill him <laughs> 
Well, we've kind of been out in this area a bit, wandering around. Um, I think what I'll do is, I haven't been this direction. And it's kind of a hill up there, so get kind of a high vantage point. I think, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cruise up here. Let's get the torch out. Cruise up here to the top, take a look around, see what's what. Let's bring the map up here while we're doing this. So we're moving down in this direction. Obviously we haven't been out here yet, and that's cool. That's good. What is that? Is that a bush over here? Yes, we got kind of a grouping of trees. The other grouping of trees I've seen like this had something in the middle. So we could check that out. But I kind of want to just go up to the top of the hill real quick. Get a good view. Now I thought when we got out here we could explore that direction. Uh, but it's mostly like ocean out there. Um, from what I can tell. So we can't really go that far. Um, okay, there's a green light in the distance. We got a fire of some kind straight out there a large one up in the hill over there that's pretty cool be something bigger out there otherwise let's go over here to see what's in the trees can't tell if that's a house some kind of building in here might be kind of big too let's check this out you got these wall of trees here uh this probably is not good for us yeah there's a wolf there uh oh couple wolves and there were some guys in hoods and <laughs> maybe some witches something I don't know what's going on here let's see that wolf still follow me no try to peek in on their business any wolves on this side I don't see any oh there's one yeah there's some uh, that's some creepy stuff going on in there we'll be back for them one day okay kind of traveled down a bit was Trying to find the merchant, see if maybe that was a different one, a different ghoul merchant, but it didn't seem like it. So I've come all the way down to this point here. You can see I've kind of ran. I thought, oh, there he is. Maybe this is him. But um, he was the fireworks merchant. This was just a standard merchant here. So I came down, went around here, and uh, I'm kind of looking around. Now, I actually didn't think I'd been down this way, but the map seems to indicate I have. Um, so I must have just run down there real quick at some point, but I kind of want to go down because I don't remember doing that And I don't remember what's down there. So let's uh, let's check it out Kind of a cool area here is valley area let's See what's in this house and uh, we'll use it as a save point now What I've been doing a few times here and there is actually um, hitting escape and saving the game Oh, I remember this now. I remember looping around through here um, So anyway, I've been saving to try and make sure that I'm kind of covered but, um, oh, it's like, man, is that just going to be a crossbow just laying on the ground? That'd be great. I already got one, but. Now, I've been in here before. Um, I just ran around really quick. But again, just stepping in saves the game real quick. And hey, sometimes, like now, there's, there's chests and stuff. So, <laughs> let's break this down. I'm, I'm assuming you left this here for me. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah, what do you have to steal? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave you guys alone. Well, not much there as I leave that behind. I want to continue down the road because if I bring the map up, and I do seem to recall this hill now, you can see that this is as far as we've gone. The bend in the road, which is kind of just up where these trees are, uh, was as far in this direction as I've gone. Um, I guess this is west. So I'm kind of thinking the next time we continue and just uh, do some more exploring the map, see what we can find out here. I do want to thank you guys for stopping in as always and watching. I really appreciate it. We will uh, do another one of these, so I hope you come back for the next one.